I'm doing this a completely different way. I know I was just doing a stream over on YouTube uh, about an, two hours ago. Uh, I was playing Azur, um, Striker, Gunbolt 2. I was going to go to bed, and I'm like, I'm still kind of awake right now, so I guess I'll just stream until I'm tired enough to go to sleep. But uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll start with the normal thing that I normally do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day, and now it's after work. I'm Joe, and I just felt like doing a little Resident Evil 4, and I figured why not why not stream it? And uh, yeah, let's take it from here, guys. This is gonna be not the normal stream that I usually do because um, I don't have my camera out on me, so I'm just gonna provide some commentary while I play the game. It was the year. And, uh, when feel free to chime in on the chat as uh, we're playing. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. <coughs> Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Resident Evil Six Four. years have passed since that horrendous incident. Music is only mildly racist, racist right now. A secret organization Just saying. working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo. Who are you really? Come on and What's going on? I see a couple cats jumping in on the on the uh stream. How's it going, guys? You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. I do have to say, this game does look very pretty in uh it was right before it's I was HD gloriness right now the president's daughter when she was abducted that's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe according to our intelligence there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter <laughs> apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Why does he look like a UPS driver? Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any <coughs> parking tickets. Right. 
parking tickets. Good luck. Yes, because this seems like a place where you would get a parking ticket. There's so many meter maids around. Who are these guys? <clears throat> Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? Very Metal Gear Solid-esque sure with girl this layout. Kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright, wow. Okay. Now, it has been a few years since I've played more than a few years. I want to say the last time I touched Resident Evil 4 was maybe... 2008 it, it's been that long but uh, I played this religiously on the GameCube when it first came out because you know Nintendo had that exclusive deal with Capcom for a few years while the GameCube was uh, the hot thing and then uh, bought it again on the PS2 I think it was probably the first game I actually rebought on another system. Because uh, the PS2 had uh, Assignment Ada on it. And then they got out of control, brought it to the Wii. Had a Wii edition, which is actually pretty good. I was wondering if you might recognize because the they, uh, the, the nunchuck <laughs> and the... What did you say about my mama? Sorry to have bothered you. But the, uh, the Wii controller, <clears throat> that was, uh, hey, hello. That, the controls for that actually worked out pretty well, but I did not play or buy that game. I had a buddy who bought it on the Wii. Oh, no, come on. Let's try to figure out how to aim here. Okay, this is very odd. I'm using an Xbox controller, so forgive me. I'm going to try to get used to this here. I bought the uh, that white Xbox controller for my PC. Shit. Yeah, my sentiments exactly, Leon. Is everything okay? <clears throat> there was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Oh boy. All right. Forgive me again, I'm just trying to get used to the controls here on PC. Jeez. That's uh, quite the vision here. But what's going on, everyone? I'm uh, playing Resident Evil 4 on the PC right now. And, oh. <laughs> I love that. Okay. <clears throat> no, we don't want to reload here. Okay. Already got myself in a corner. Alright, bam. There we go. Let's just try to get them all from here. <clears throat> Jeez. There we go. Come on. No. Uh, yeah, sure. Take the ammo. <laughs> K-Bob04, what's going on? I've never played Resident Evil 4. It looks very different. It's, um... If you've played the more recent ones, this is sort of where the big drastic change to the series came from, was uh, this game itself. Wow, I'm really having a difficult time right now trying to get used to these controls. I don't know why, it's not any different than the more current Resident Evils right now. Alright, so I got my knife there. X, boom boom. Alright. My right trigger to aim, X to shoot. I guess it's somewhat of a classic style. Holding A to, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> Give me what you got. But, uh, have you played, um, any of the, uh... What, which Resident Evils have you played, actually?
Free Fido. <laughs> uh, the guidepost reads Pueblo. Pueblo slash, Pueblo slash, you sexy motherfucker. Un forastero! Oh, hello. Who? Oh. Hi, buddy. Oh, not not good enough to kick. All right. There we go. Only two and three. Oh, those are good ones, man. Two is actually my favorite Resident Evil. Um, out of out of all of them, I mean, if you if you were to, uh, I would have a different answer, <laughs> depending on the day, but um. Most of most of the time, my answer leads towards two. I love I love the um. I just like the story between Claire and Leon. Claire trying to find Chris, goes to Raccoon City. The whole uh, Sherry, William, and uh, Annette Birkin mix. The Ada, the thing between Ada and Leon. The fact that if you do different scenarios, ooh, Jesus Christ. If you do like scenario A with Claire, you get a different side of the story with Leon, which is awesome. But yeah, uh, Resident Evil 4 is another great one just because it changed again what, uh, what Resident Evil is, what su what uh, survival horror is to an extent, it got a little action. Oh, hello! Let's let's get this guy first, and then I'll continue. Boom. There we go. Just trying to save, conserve ammo here. But uh, Resident Evil 4 kind of started the route towards getting a little more action oriented, but uh, it was still cre it still had its moments of creepiness. So that's that's why I appreciate Resident Evil 4. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still getting over a uh, a bit of a cold here, so I'm sorry if I start uh, getting the sniffles or coughing. Uh, this is my favorite part. And by favorite part, I mean not my favorite part. Hey, that's the guy from the car. Well, I feel bad. <laughs> Why are they just yelling mierda? <laughs> mierda. Oh gosh, alright. How am I going to sneak on by? There's a lot of good stuff that's around here. Oh, well, too late. Boom. Ay, yay, 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 please, lady. Alright, we're just gonna go in here. Oh, man, Silent Hill is... You want to talk about psychological, dude? Holy hell. That, those games will... Uh, excuse my language, but those games will fuck with your head. <laughs> I think the only one I ever beat was um, Downpour, and I actually enjoyed Downpour. I know a lot of people didn't really enjoy it that much, but uh, I, I had a good time with it. I've replayed that game a hell of a lot. And uh, just let me know if... Um, if it becomes a little hard of hearing for you guys between uh, how loud the audio gets and uh, and my voice going over the game as well. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Whoa, I am out of here. Okay, everyone. Everyone is going after me. Ah, oh, thank you. All right. But yeah. Uh, actually, no, sorry. I did beat the first Silent Hill also. That one I had to play at least two, three times to actually get, like, the the good, the happy ending with Sybil and, and the baby and all that. Oh, God. I hear the chainsaw guy. See, this part freaked me right the out the first time I played this because there's a freaking guy with a chainsaw coming at me like it's nothing. Now, hold on here. Boom. Boom. And no, that's not what I wanted. That's totally okay. Again, sorry, just trying to get used to these controls here. It has been ages since I have played this game. Okay, all right, there we go. And my health is getting kind of low, but should be good. Should be okay. I think we can make it. Ah, there you are. I'm gonna get rid of this guy first. There we go. Oh gosh. Ah. <sighs> That's not the direction I wanted that, but sure, that worked. That's effective. And more people. Um, what's your favorite Silent Hill, K-Bop? Oh god. Alright, try to go it around. Earl. Why is Earl trying to... Oh, crap. I'm kind of low on health right now. There you go. Oh, yeah, 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 no, because I don't want... The guy. Oh, my God, that was beautiful. Now, there's shotgun shells that I missed up here, so I need to get those. Silent Hill 2 is the one to play. Dude, I got... Ha I have the, um... I have the collection on my PS3, and I'm about halfway through Silent Hill 2. Mind you, I started that when the collection came out. <laughs> oh, oh, shh! Oh, come on, perfect time. Are you kidding me right now? Thank you. Okay. And what's crazy? What? I don't know if everyone know if any if. Everyone knows this, this is like public knowledge now, with this version, with uh, not this version, but with this game, they've actually put in like, the difficulty scales on how good you actually play the game. So if you get hit at certain quick time events, or if you're just doing poorly, or you die once, um, the game will scale down to make it a little easier for you to pass. But yes, yeah, going back to Silent Hill. Oh, thank you. We made it. Jeez. La campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Oh, Leon and your one-liners. Onigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get <coughs> out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. All right, here we go. Sorry, I was just making sure the stream sounded the stream sounded all right. Hi. 
All right, so before we move forward, I just want to collect some of the items around here. Because there is a good amount of stuff that we didn't get to catch because I was not as stealthy as I wanted to be. <laughs> Granted, this really isn't a stealth game, but you know where I'm going at with it. But yeah, just uh, going back to Silent 2 real quick. I got halfway. That game is twisted. That game is real. And there's multiple endings to that too, right? I actually miss, like, games having multiple endings. The... Ugh, that's kind of disgusting. And picture of Lord Sadler right there. On the window. On the wall. Okay, yeah, so it was uh it was another one. You don't you don't see games doing that that often anymore. Um Resident Evil Revelations 2 was the last game or the first game in a really long time that I recall having like two diff two distinct different endings. Now, we were trying to climb up here before, but uh time ran out. On that part, I just want to make sure I didn't miss any items. Which we didn't. Alright, good. And there's one more area. Because Leon wasn't going to crack any bones doing that. Now. There's one more area that I know has items. Where the hell is it? Here we go, right here. Boom. I didn't want to go in here because it's so easy to get crammed in here by a bunch of enemies. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, this... This HD version of the game actually psh, looks. They did a pretty good job with this. I am. I'm actually impressed. All right. So where the heck uh, is it? Oh, there's something up there. Hold up. Last thing, and then we'll we'll move on. Sorry, I've got to grab everything. Especially since this is a normal stream that I normally do. <laughs> we can be completely unprofessional about it. Not that I am a professional. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Nothing. It's one thing I hate. A room that just doesn't have anything. Alert order. Hey, they've got photos of us. Recently, there's been an inform there's been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an, ha in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party than the, the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Yep. Text message. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, let this begin. I know you see me. Oh, oh come on. I thought <laughs> I thought I was gonna get away with that. That very, very poor stealth moves right there. Oh god, there's a guy behind me or in front of me. Okay. 
Come on. Nope. And you can actually shoot the weapons that they throw at you if uh, you're good enough, which I am not. Okay, hello. I'll take that too. That's fine. Alright, so... These blue things... 15 blue medallion, 7 in farm, 8 in cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more, you will be rewarded. So, at some point we're gonna find a guy who does inventory, or like, we buy items and weapons from. We can also upgrade, um... There we go. You can also get all these blue medallions and we'll get little upgrades here and there from him if uh, we do get them. Which, this was another new thing that they added to the game. Oh, jeez, there's just little... There's people hidden everywhere. Boom. Just slice your butt. Sliced booty. They certainly have no problem stocking me up with ammo here. Oh, hi. How are you? Really? There we go. Put that back where it belongs. Alright, so we got one. We got number two over here. Beautiful. Is that just a... Wow. Just a pile of dead bodies, nothing new. Nothing unusual, right? Number three. Gosh, I can't remember for the life of me where exactly all of these are. It has been way too long. But uh, first things first you want to do is... If you shoot this first, that closes, and then you can actually... Oh, crap. Uh, if I didn't open that, I could have shot that down and actually kept it in pristine condition to sell. But, uh, it's going to be worth less now that I, uh, kept that open. Because when I shoot it, it's just going to get in that slop of filth and devalue it when I sell it. So, it's no longer worth it. That was my fault. Uh, where do I... Okay, I need to go up here then. Wait, I see another one. Another blue. Oh, that was the thing we were just looking at. Alright, you know what? Screw it. We're here. Ugh. It would have just been a pearl pendant had we, uh... Done it the right way. Hey, what's going on? I see we got a few more people jumping in. What's going on, everyone? Joe here, doing a very nonchalant stream this is completely uh impromptu and not like uh my normal streams that i usually do with my camera on and everything just uh chilling out playing some resident evil 4 here uh for those of you watching if you guys jump into chat uh let me know what your favorite resident evil game is I've pretty much played all of them except for like the gun survivor ones and uh, I played Gaiden on the Game Boy Color when that came out. <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that one, but I did play that once upon a time. I didn't finish it. Definitely was nowhere near good enough to finish that game. Did I do that right? No, I'm still on the same side. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Let's go back up. All right.
that door we can't open. Oh, but there is a... Am I good enough to get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Ugh. Yeah, alright, screw it. I don't want to waste any more bullets. Um... Well, maybe it is this way. No, this is where we entered. Alright. RE7 looks like it'll be good. Oh man, dude, I am hyped for RE7. Oh no, that was the- oh, what am I- Joe, come on, you know better. This was the direct- the- This was the right way. Serious going that oh Alright guys, hold on one second, gotta let the missus in. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Resident Evil Seven. Oh, hold up. Ah, oh, jeez. Let's not die today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the thing: I don't remember Xbox buttons to save my life, so that was just a fluke that I actually made that connection. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm excited about Resident Evil 7, dude. I played the teaser demo. I played the update to that. Uh, there probably will be one more update to that, I'd imagine. That's my guess. Oh, crap. Okay. Why that guy ran away from me? I don't know why, but... Oh, gosh. No, 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 no! Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, I actually got a chance to check out the Lantern demo when I was out at uh, San Francisco a couple weeks back, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, I got to play it in PSVR, which I got mine on pre-order. So when that comes out, I'll. it comes with a demo disc. If I'm not mistaken, the demo disc is supposed to have... What should we call it? The demo disc is supposed to have the kitchen demo, which was like the original thing that they were showing to everyone uh, before they announced it as Resident Evil 7. I wonder who this can be. Hey. You're not like them? No. You? Okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? <laughs> this guy. Ah, oh, God. Perfect. Big man on campus. Jeez. Of course, of course.
And yes, I'm gonna save it. And actually, um, I know this was a bit of an impromptu stream, and I normally don't stream this late at night, guys, but I want to thank you guys for joining in and jumping on, chatting a bit. K-Bob, it was awesome talking to you, man. I hope you join in on some of my other streams. Um, I'm also on YouTube, guys. If um, I will actually leave my link in the chat box if you want to check it out as well. I uh, recently had done a playthrough of Resident Evil 2 with uh, doing Claire Scenario A and Leon Scenario B. That's up there under my uh, Resident Evil playlist. And uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm currently playing Pokemon. I'm a big Pokemon fan. So I've, I've been doing that as my main series along with um, Azure Gunvolt Striker 2 that just came out a couple days ago. So uh, if you want to check that out, that would be awesome. Um, if you want to follow me, I'm at Joe After Work on both Instagram and Twitter, uh, J O, not J O E. And I'll maybe see you guys next time. So thank you so much again. Take care. Feel Love y'all. Let us.